Hey guys, this is Dan Spencer of ProToolsTutorials.org and today we're going to be talking about how to hide and make a track inactive and then how to unhide it and make it reactive. Okay, this is very easy. Uh, the reason you may want to do this is, uh, I don't know, just say you have a track you really just don't want to get rid of. You want to keep it, but you don't want it to be visible or hear it in Pro Tools. What you can do is, um, I'll just take this floor tom for example, right click on it, go to hide and make inactive, and then it disappears. It's as simple as that. Now, if you want to make it reactive, you just have to go to your tracks panel here, and you'll see that um, when we click off of it, you'll see that it's the only one that's like grayed out. So click on that, and then it makes it reactive here. Okay, it's not active yet, it just makes it visible. So you have to also right click on it again, and then go to make active. Okay, and then there you go, and then it's active again. Like I said, this is a great feature if uh, you. Um, if you processed um, a vocal track and you printed it and then you had like the old one left over but you don't want to get rid of it because it's like your original takes and everything with the unprocessed material, it's a good thing to uh, hide it and keep it to be safe. So this is Dan Spencer with ProTools Tutorials.org and we'll see you next time.